Hold the door. For how long? I guess. You were taking your sweet time a bit, don't you think? Man, that was close. Lollygagging, you know, not doing something quickly. Whoa, we're not going back out there. I didn't get the gate locked. Military? It's Doug. You got it. Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Cool, and we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. All right, let me know if you want to. Okay. All right, good. Want to go have a look around outside? Excellent. Want to head back out? Got it! Done! I need help over here! Think I'm gonna be sick. Eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. They eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Hmm. How can you be sure? Yeah, I agree. We just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. Man. Huh. Can't believe this is making. This is crazy. We searched high and low inside before you guys got here. And they weren't on the old couple we took out of the office. Are you okay? We now live in a world where getting up and walking away is an actual possibility, so... Where? Why do you say that? He could be anybody. We can't just start taking crazy risks. We don't know he worked here. That's a big jump to make, considering the risk. We can't just assume anything. We need some proof that he was an employee to make it worth the risk of going out there. Sounds good. Ready as I'll ever be. Are you good? And the drugstore's safe enough, I think. Whoever owned it took good care of it. It's well stocked and it locks up well. Yeah, I think we're good behind this gate. Oh, well, Carly's pretty nice, you know. Lily doesn't take any crap. She's been running the show, keeping people on watch, things like that. And her dad... He's, uh, well, he's ex-military, I guess. Not the most pleasant. I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time... No, just doing my own thing. What about you? Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Oh, friends, family? They around? Oh, cool. You've got that little girl with you. I guess it doesn't. When something like this happens, I suppose all that matters is where you are, not how you got there. Okay, what? Do you know that guy? Look at that poor bastard trapped on the other side of the street. N never mind. It's not my business. I'm, I'm sorry, though. Oh, li like brother? Or like brother? Uh, you're from around here, huh? Yeah, it is. Nope. I hope he ended up that way and wasn't a living guy who got trapped and then bitten. All we need is a way for one of us to spend some time with that guy over there without getting snuck up on. Safe fish. Presumably, he's the one with the keys. You're gonna do it? Well, how are we gonna keep them away from you? How are we gonna keep those things off your back while you search that one for the keys? That's a lot. Don't, you know, touch it. That is, of course, if you can knock it down. It's still carrying a charge. Those distribution lines carry about 33,000 volts. We just have to find a way to get those power lines down on the ground. I'll try to give you fair warning. We're going to need them on the other side of the street before that thing comes down, though. You're right. It shouldn't take more than a few good swings with that fire axe to finish the job. We need a way to get all the zombies on the far side of the street. No. But if you're still out and visible, there's no guarantee they'll leave you alone to come after me. What are we going to do about that? I'm going to be honest. I'm not psyched to play the role of bait. You need a place to hide while I attract the walkers to the other side of the street. Yeah, that'll work. Well, insanely dangerous, but good. Righto. We think that dead gentleman over there has the keys, but we need to figure out how to keep the rest of the walkers at bay while you search him. If we can down that power line in the middle of the street, you'd have a decent barrier between you and the rest of the walkers, but we need a way to knock it down. You're going to chop down that power pole, creating a makeshift electric fence between you and the rest of the walkers but we need a way to herd them to one side of the street before you do. I'm going to lure the walkers to the other side of the street with a car horn, but you need a place to get out of sight so they'll lose interest. I think we're set. You run out there and start chopping down that pole, making sure to watch your back. When it's about to fall, you give me the signal, and I'll run out to the car and lure them over while you hide in the trunk. Then, when the coast is clear, you hop out, finish off the pole, and then get the keys. Yeah, yeah, maybe there's something to that. I like it. I think it's worth poking around inside and anywhere else you can for an axe or a saw, at least for a little while. You think you can knock it over? That won't help. We've already got that figured. Oh, nothing. Looks in need of a little maintenance. A power up, perhaps? I don't know. There's no gas left, and I think they'll get to us eventually. And if it doesn't work? Me neither. I don't think so. And if there was, I'm not sure it'd be worth the risk. Making a list of ways I could die doing that? One, two, three... Four. It's hard to say, but there's something to that, maybe. You'd be in a lot of danger going that far. You can still see who they are. Yeah, 
You'd get swarmed. You could take them one at a time, but you need a wall or something to protect you while you search the trapped one. Ha, <laughs> um, right. I don't think so. Nope. Especially when we don't know how many are out there. If it doesn't, we have bigger problems. Meat, apparently. Or a noise, maybe. Yeah, but where are you going to hide? Yeah, you'll be pretty well exposed while you search him. Nope. That could quickly turn into you not pretending. Not a good idea. Did you find them yet? Run! Holy crap! Probably not. The wreck did damage to that power pole. No, probably not. Nah, yeah, I don't think so. You really want to do that? Plus, you might get stuck. They're somewhere better. Yeah, you know, they did their best. Dangerous. I don't think so. Nope. There's got to be somewhere better. How would you get in? That's what they do. Ugh, I don't think so. I don't think that'll work. Not when they can get fresh meat. We can't just go out there without a plan. That's suicide. Whoa, Lee. Don't go out there. You ready? All right, I'm right behind you. Fair enough. I'm ready when you are. Yeah. It doesn't look like America, does it? No, probably not. I am fleet afoot. The distraction's not bad, though. Totally. Maybe they could be lured around the building or something. Yeah, I used to fiddle around with stuff like that when I was a kid, but there's not much to do with it now. Man, I miss my robots. I know. You know what I could do? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Who's to say it already hasn't? That got a few of them to take notice. It would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Be careful. Okie doke. I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. It's universal, but not that universal. That won't work. No. Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. About that. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. Uh, imagine going out the back door and around is out of the question. Then you're right. If we're gonna help Larry, we need to get this lock off of there. Awesome. Vandalism. Nice. Well, I haven't been able to get through this gate so far. He's kind of a dick. Pardon my French. Better him than us, huh? Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all chewed up and... So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? I don't know. Careful out there. Get what you need and get back. Watch out, man. They're coming. Don't go any further. Don't get too close. Watch out. Come back, dude. Lee, no. You're playing with fire, man. Are you crazy? Oh, God, oh, God, Lee. Lee. Oh, shit, no. Lee. You wouldn't need long, right? Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Some of these guys can't hear it. Or they don't care. Yeah, and then one of us would get trapped inside. Not it. Where are you guys headed? Or at least the sound of it. If they were louder, we might be able to clear the street. Come on, come on! Go, 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 go! Hey, man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. Sounds good. Yeah, probably easier said than done. Yeah, it didn't work. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here. That seems like the safest of all the dangerous options. Now we gotta keep looking around. Now we're good to go. Now to distract those things. Carefully. If we're gonna help Larry, we need to get this lock off of there. I... I know it's stupid. We just met. It's dumb. But, uh, I mean, it's, it's probably just that survivor thing. But I really liked her. We couldn't save her, could we? Thanks, Lee. It's okay. Thanks, though. Yeah, I know. Sorry. It's dumb. How did you choose? I mean, we both needed you. You picked me. Wait, Lee? Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. Oh. No. Oh. I guess that makes sense. That makes sense, I guess. But you helped me first. I guess it doesn't matter. I just wish you would have picked her. The window is screwed! Oh, man. No! The boards on that window are coming loose! Way to go! Hey, Lee! If we don't make it through this, 
You should know that I think you're a great guy. I should know what? You said I should know. Uh, uh, uh. Guys, that door's not locked anymore. You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? Hey, I owe you a lot more than a half-eaten candy bar. Take it. It's Doug. You got it. Holy... Hey, Lee. I'm real sorry we left the motor in unattended. It's just that you were gone so long. If it makes you feel better, there hasn't been a single sign of the bandits all night. Well, we gotta stick together. Anyway, I'm glad you're safe. Hey, Lee. I'm sorry for leaving the motor in unattended. Were they really chopping up people? For food? Oh, my God. Does she know? Ugh. But, man, that is sick. Clementine, she doesn't know, right? She didn't see her. How the heck are we supposed to foresee something as insane as a cannibal family? Well, I hope Clementine and Duck didn't realize or see anything. Were you guys able to salvage anything good from the dairy? It's just a basic camcorder. A save lot's cheapy. Let me check it out, see if I can get it working. Hey, Lee, you know that camcorder? I got it working. You might want to see this. Here, Clem. Want some uh, batteries? Hey, Lee, I think I fixed this thing. Just had to press a couple jumpers back in. It needs some batteries, but it should work. Let me check it out, see if I can get it working. It's just a basic camcorder. A save lot's cheapy. Any electronics? Radios? Batteries? Oh, wow. You guys must know a thing or two about running wire. Definitely. We're starved. You guys have food? We're so hungry. We're all starving our butts off. Holy moly! These guys are kind of weirdos, Lee. And that's coming from me. We should just let Lee decide. Yeah, but, you know, we can't think with our stomachs. We should think this through. Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip back here? Send Kenny to come relieve me after dinner, maybe with a doggy bag? And if it works out, then we'll all make the move. How about we hedge our bets? We don't want to just leave our motor in in case it doesn't work out here, right? I'll hang back there with the new kid and work on my warning system and give the group directions back here. We should keep someone at the inn until we know we're really leaving. You must run through a lot of fuel. But we're all really hungry. But we didn't bring any fuel like your sons wanted. Really? Thank you so much. Bye. Take care. That's double the electric chair. Oh, wow. You've got enough electricity to run the whole place. Sorry. No problem. Ben can come with me. All right. See you later. Lee? Is that you? What the hell happened to you guys? He's not worth it. Come on, man. Let's get the hell out of here. Jesus, Lee. Come on. Let's go. Where is everybody? What can we do to help? Holy shit. Is everyone okay? What can we do? Oh, God. What happened? Lee? You okay? Yeah. It's Carly's, but... You got it. All right, we're coming in to help. Lee, is that you? We heard shots and ducked into the cornfield. Lee, is that you? We heard screams as we were coming up to the house. Uh, sorry about that, but I did get your attention. Morse code. Yes. No. Yes, come on. This way. Jesus, that's sick. Thanks. I also worked up a little early warning system for outside. Well... It's just string with some cans attached, but hey, it works. Hey, I owe you a lot more than a half-eaten candy bar. Take it. You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? Why did you do it, Lee? Why'd you kill me? Careful, Lee. You could grow to enjoy being a killer. You think you're this group's savior, Lee? You can't <laughs> save anyone. Especially not that little girl who relies on you. No, she's as good as dead. Dead girl walking. I'll give you a second chance, Lee. Can you save me? That's not what you said at the trial, Lee. Story changing. You decide who lives and who dies? Did you choose to kill Sam? Is it harder to kill an old friend than to kill a stranger? Is that it? Maybe you like to kill. Maybe you like the control you get to take. Is that what happened with Sam? Holy shit! Holy shit! Of course it works. I told you. I'll go too. Improve the numbers in case we run into anything dead. I say we do it. But I'll hang back to keep tabs on the motor in, at least until after dinner tonight. And we got food! And we've got food! Lee, move! Watch out! Get away from it! Don't let it bite you! Push it off! Oh, th that was my first attempt at making an alarm system. The new version is much more sophisticated. Dude, that's bullshit. I was on the food list for today. Well, Lily's system was tough, but at least it made sense. Then how do you know who gets food? So you're giving out the food today? What about Lily's list? I got him! I say we do it. Sure. I never used to eat fruit. Now this seems like just about the best thing in the world. Thanks, Lee. That's okay, Lee. You don't need to be saving my life all the time. Maybe. I mean, I know about computers, but that doesn't mean I can fix a calculator. Well, yeah. Good point. You too, Lee. I've worked up a little warning system for outside. No, it's a lot of string, wired to several bells, strategically placed to let us know when the walkers are coming, where they're coming from, and how long till they get here. I owe you a lot more than half a day's rations. Actually, why don't you keep my share today? 
I know you didn't consciously choose to save me, but I still wish I wasn't the one you thought needed help. But, <clears throat> ah! <sighs> What's up, Lee? I set up trip lines at four locations, and each one triggers one of these four bells. So, it should. We'll have to wait and see. I know it doesn't look like much, but the bells will ring when walkers get nearby. I know you wanted to save me and Carly, but... Well, I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me and not Carly, but... Oh, wow. I can smell that food over here. I hope you're enjoying that, Larry. Lily, stop! We can sort all this out, all right? We can sort this out! Sure. I'd like to get a look at that electric fence they talked about. It might give me some ideas for something I can rig up at the motor inn. Oh, nothing. It's just a laser pointer I picked up during our last trip to the drugstore. We've actually made it pretty secure. Well, ten, actually, if you count the new guy. What should we do? Oh, shit! The electricity basically cooks you from the inside out, right? So, if a walker stays in contact with the fence, it'll eventually cook its brain. It probably takes a while, though. Well, as long as the walkers aren't completely dehydrated and the fence has enough juice, yeah, it seems plausible. And that can't be a good smell. Unless it smells like jerky. Man, I could go for some jerky. Ugh, I shouldn't have turned down that food you offered me earlier. <laughs> Sorry. And now, if she's paranoid, that's a bad mix. I don't know what it is, but it's probably worth talking to Lily about things going missing. Ever since her dad died, she's been a live wire. Eh. Rough day, I guess. Well, I don't know anything. Honest. No, not at all. I can't drink a cup of tea without getting the jitters. Since we're on the subject, did you know that while chalk is traditionally known to be calcium carbonate, what's often used in classrooms is actually made of gypsum, thanks to favorable domestic mining conditions? Happy to be of service. No. Don't the kids have some? You know, a piece of charcoal is a suitable alternative, depending on your marking surface. I don't know. I guess I'm sad. Nobody deserves to lose their parent like that. I think it could make you anything. Nothing good. Well, I can tell you... Oh, no. No, I don't. I'll keep my eye out for some suitable parts, though. That'll give me something useful to do. I'm just trying to focus on the wall. Anything I'd like to contribute needs batteries or tools I just don't have. I guess... I feel worthless on watch because I'm not wild about guns, and I just wish I was more helpful. I think if we can get whoever is out there to leave us alone, this is a good place to be. And you know, they sort of stopped attacking. Maybe they forgot about us. Hmm. Safety has always been a bit of an elusive thing for me. Hiya. I'm tearing down this furniture to patch up the wall. If we go on like this, we'll have half the Travelier piled up out here before we know it. So, you two are, uh, having a disagreement? There was no saving her? You guys couldn't try to save her? Lee! Help! Not good, oh man! Help! Ugh. Ugh. It's the solenoid! Lee! Walkers! Lee! The bells! Left side! Left! Left! Left side! Lee! Left! Right side! Walkers on the right! The right bells! Watch the right! Lee! Come on! Leave him alone! Lily! Please stop! Lee! No! I can't handle this! But we have our health! Nobody died! We're okay, right? Katya, you're okay? Lily, let's think about this logically, no? Lily, come on. I know I don't get wrapped up in the politics around here, but we really need to think before we start stringing somebody up. Lily, look at him. Totally! I came into this crew as a stranger. Evidence or not, this isn't any way to treat one of us. Oh no! Get him off of me! Ah! 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 